So the Long Term Memory Project um, began sort of after a, a conversation with some community members who wanted to preserve um, different aspects of culture and heritage in the wake of the 2015 disaster. Um, there's a lot of concern about intergenerational loss and um, in response to that, a few members from the community got together with myself, Jennifer, and others, and started putting together this um, community-based archive. Uh, we've spent, as Jennifer said, a little over two and a half years now gathering images from around the world, reprinting them, repurposing them, uh, sharing them with the community. We've also done a lot of scans of uh, family photo albums and salvaging materials from the, from the, from the villages that were damaged during the earthquake. And we've done a number of different sort of like multimedia projects, um, supported new projects driven by the Langtang Club themselves, uh, the people of Langtang, and um, done a few small exhibitions of community generated photographs and um, installed a few shows, a few small exhibitions in the local um, community center in the Langtang Valley. And uh, yeah, the latest project, which is ongoing, is the um, this collaborative film that we made this last summer, the first festival in three years in London after the grieving period had ended. It's called A Time for Singing Again, and we shot that collaboratively, and that sort of really reflects the ethos of our larger project, and now we're working through editing it and shaping that content for different audiences. There's both like a DVD that will go back to the community themselves to document this, which will be laid out for that audience, and then there's some uh, hopefully a broader form the work. So those are the kind of things we're doing. Yeah, and the project keeps evolving as the community goes on in the space. So, you know, we started off as an archive collecting photos and doing things like that, but as the community continues to transition into this post-disaster context, um, the we've been doing different projects like us and said exhibitions, really trying to give um, opportunities and make platforms for stories to be told by the land. So this Saturday we had our sort of informal um, opening slash launch event um, and it was just absolutely overwhelmingly beautiful and powerful and amazing in a number of levels. I mean it was it was great to see the show come together at the last minute and have everything there and just have people um, engaging with the exhibition and uh, responding really really positively to it. That brought a lot of energy and, and, and really um, it was a moment where you know, we've, we've all put a lot of time and energy into the long-term, long-term memory project and having an event like this where you, you pause and you look at the, what you've been able to accomplish so far, it was really, really meaningful. Um, and in addition to that, it was just so emotional uh, in the best of ways. I mean, the, the, the event started with a puja and then we had a couple of speeches by Langtang community members who have worked with us in different capacities and who have different experiences of the aftermath and of the current moment, who everyone cried, including myself, while they while they were trying to speak and trying to verbalize what um, what they felt in this moment, and it was just incredible to see um, simultaneously. Yeah, I mean, to, re to reflect on everything that's happened and where we are now, and also just to see this positive energy and to be grateful for having the chance to, to do something like this and share this story. And it was just also, you know, friends and family and people who we have all kinds of, you know, lots of friends and family came out and supported us, Lantang Po, friends and their families. It was just this layered, beautiful event um, that, um, yeah. And that, you know, my heart, mind is uh, <laughs> singing a bit after that. So, in part of our exhibition, there's a table that we've um, pasted all the names of everyone who passed away, including the foreigners and the local land, but it's another Nepalese. And so, um, for the opening event, we invited a Langtangpa Lama. Not a Lama who lives in Langtang, but a Lama who's from Langtang and is now in Sachin Gumba in Nepoda. And so um, he also he also lost his father in the earthquake. So to have to have that um, connection to to the event, I think that was really important. We didn't want to. We knew we wanted to have a puja. We wanted to um, 
to be appropriate with how sensitive all of this material is and you know the tragedy of this, but we really wanted it to be someone from Ankang. So I, I'm really glad that that's how we opened the, the whole show, that's how the exhibition started. And I think it was an appropriate way to, to honor what happened and you know to, to just do things in the way that, that Long Hunk was would also do. Cut the mundo, cut the mundo, cut the mundo.